Well, the feds make some major moves in Toledo. Tonight, one man has been arrested for plotting a synagogue attack, and a woman has been arrested for buying the materials to make bombs. Our Mar McDonald is live downtown at the federal building. Mar, the FBI has been monitoring both these people, and neither is connected to the other. Kimberly, that's right. They both may be geographically in the same spot in Toledo, and they both may have been planning mass attacks, but both were doing it at separate locations and for different motivations. Take a look. Damon Joseph is only 21 years old, but had been spending his time plotting a synagogue attack in Toledo. He claims to have been radicalized by ISIS and told investigators the synagogue attack in Pittsburgh motivated him. He selected firearms, firearms that he handpicked because he believed that they would deliver the maximum amount of damage and destruction. And he made very clear that his intention, his personal goal, was to kill a rabbi. Joseph wasn't the only one plotting a large-scale attack. Federal agents also moved in on 23-year-old Elizabeth LaCron. The Fed say she was obsessed with mass murderers and had been corresponding with white supremacist Dylan Roof in prison. So on December 8th, just two days ago, LaCron purchased two pounds of gunpowder and over 600 screws, likely intended as shrapnel, with knowledge these items would be used to construct the pipe bombs. The feds say LaCron had considered multiple targets, including a bar in Toledo, but these pipe bombs were to go to a pipeline in Georgia. The FBI arrested her at her Toledo home. Former FBI special agent in charge of Detroit's field office, Andy Arena, says two large scale attack plots so soon after Pittsburgh is not all that surprising. Yeah, I think when you have an event like what we saw in Pittsburgh, it, it churns the water and it gets things moving and it gets people thinking. And the people that are out there that are prone to do something like this are looking for something to do. It, it really it causes them, I think, to act or at least to start to plan on doing something like this. Back here live, federal agents had been monitoring both because of their online activity and both had made contact with undercover federal agents in an attempt to buy, in, in uh, Joseph's case, arms and in Lacron's case, gunpowder. Uh, we are live downtown tonight at the Federal Building. I'm Mara McDonald, Local 4.